Okay. So today, on my field hair journey, I am refreshing my braids. I've had my braids in for about a month now, and I have a lot of new growth, so it's time to refresh these braids. Um, I plan to have my braids in for another two months. My plan is to stretch my relaxer as long as I possibly can. Um, so I am trying to shoot for stretching my relaxer until November. Will I be able to stretch my relaxer until November? I have no idea, but I am going to try to shoot to stretch it that far. So all I'm doing is shooting. comments and let me know how you feeling about the video so far and what you think so i'm gonna let you guys get back to it All right. how the back looks now um, from what it looked like before it's not going to be all the way straightened out because I am two months post relaxer and I'm trying to knows all my history and everything so she made my appointment um, to go get my son to go get the ultrasound and when I went to go get the ultrasound well I was looking at the screen I've I've had a couple, a few ultrasounds, so I know what the screen for the ultrasound looks like. But while I was looking at the screen, it 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 I seen two, I seen two babies on the screen. But in my head, I'm thinking logically, like, well, maybe you know something is wrong with the equipment or something. So when the tech looked at me and said, "It's twins." My mouth dropped. My mouth dropped. I, twins. Twins. So, so you mean to tell me? I, I wasn't even super looking. since my have, hair have been um, not relaxed in five months. I need a super. So this is the relaxer, of course. The no lie relaxer that comes in the in the kit. Um, I'm just reading it. Um, I've used ORS before, but I was, I did kind of like um, Dark and Lovely. I like my results from Dark and Lovely. Um, that is the activator. And this ORS has also an oil pack um, that you add to the re relaxer. So it goes inside of the relaxer, um, I guess, to make it 
um, make your hair more moisturized, most likely. Um, I can say that, um, yeah, I'm just reading it. So, yeah, that's the old way it's looking like. I'm just combing it out um, in the front, on the side, and the back. Um, but like I said, this is the healthiest I've seen my hair look since I was pregnant with my um, about to be five year old. Um, and after, you know, I had him, of course, I went through postpartum shutting. So I know that that's a part of the phase, but I will definitely enjoy the results of my hair um, portion at the moment. my hair um, to go under my wigs so all I'm doing is sectioning my hair into three um, French braids straight down um, and straight down like straight back straight to the back of my hair um, so I have already greased my hair and I have some peppermint and coconut oil in my hair already so this is just this is just what I do, so. jokes about you don't see you know people trying to make uh wigs out of African hair but if we could wear um everybody else hair Indian hair uh Chinese hair if we could wear all this other hair European hair um and even synthetic hair of the sorts why can't we wear our own hair? So I really love this wig because it's actually as close as I'm going to come to my natural texture. So I love it. different from the argon oil um, of Morocco it felt totally different like the comb glided straight through my hair it it was almost like like I detangled my hair already which y'all seen my hair wasn't de detangled at all because again the directions say wash your hair again my hair is dirty straight out of my braids um so it glided onto my hair. The comb glided through my hair. Um, I want to say that it applied to my hair like butter, but I'm not. I'm not going to say that. But it was. It was very smooth. It was very smooth. So I don't know. I might have a new deep treatment. 
y'all y'all need to try this definitely try this this maui moisture so i got both sides done and this is how it's looking as you could tell on the right side with a maui moisture While I take my hair out and section my hair off, my oil is being heated up in my sink right now. I'm, I just have the water running um, on the hot temperature onto the oil bottle. Um, the purpose of a hot oil treatment um, is to um, put moisture back into your hair, of course. Um, I know I seen somewhere a while ago that warmness opens up your hair follicles and coolness closes the hair follicles. But then I read recently that that's not true. But I do it anyway. Um, um, and how the look of the weave and everything. I would say when it gets to a point of when it gets to a point where you are constantly trying to hide your hair that's an issue that's a real big issue but that's not why i brought her up um i brought it up just to say about genetics and so people would say okay well what about a situation like that well then i would say that situ situations like that in others it still boils down to genetics because some genes outpower other genes. And I mean by that, like her dad genes probably overpower her mom genes inside of her. And then that's the hair that she has. Um, so we can't change. It was a little discouraging uh, at the beginning when I had seven subscribers. And like I said in my past videos before, well, my past video before, um, four of them seven subscribers were actually people that I know. So it was a little discouraging. I will not lie um, to look at other people and everything. Um, but what... I've learned so much. I've learned so much since my first video, um, a whole lot. And I'm still learning, I'm still learning. Um, it's a lot of things that um, I am 
I have in mind to get um, for the, for the, my channel. Um, a whole lot of things. Um, but by you guys helping me hit 100 subscribers, you show me I can do it. I can do it. And I use some Cantu, um, let me see, leave-in conditioning. I believe it's avocado, avocado leave-in conditioning. So I put some of that in my hair to make it a little bit more manageable. Um, if I was going to leave this in all week, I would probably put a little bit more products in my hair. Um, but this is just to show you guys just the style and what it's looking like so this i'm just simply doing a flat twist around my hair um like i said i section my hair off in the middle and it's just the flat twist going around um so i'm gonna flat twist this side and then i'll flat twist the other side and then i'll pin this side around to the other side and the other side onto this side so you guys will see what i'm doing I left a little hair out, but it wasn't enough of hair. So when I took my hair out three months later, this is what I had. So my edges is gone yet again. So at this point, I dive straight into YouTube and I did all types of research on what can I do to grow my edges back? Um, all types of stuff. So I came across a lot of different channels, which I am subscribed to still to this day. Um, so I learned a lot of different techniques as far as like 
oil, oil, putting oil in your hair, as opposed to products that you buy from the store. Um, I seen that oil was really, really good. Coconut oil, um, avocado oil, um, tea tree oil, tea tree oil was really good. Um, castor, Jamaican black castor oil. Um, I learned a lot. So I grew my edges back, as you can see in these next clips um, here. So my edges grew back, so I went back. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to My Fail Hair Journey. Or if you're new coming over here, welcome to My Fail Hair Journey. Over here, I just do my hair. That's that's about it. Um, I'm on a journey to have healthy hair, and that's what I do over here. So thank you for tuning in. So I'm going to pre-poo for my hair. I'm using coconut oil, castor oil, peppermint oil, which I love, love, love peppermint oil peppermint oil i can't say that enough and i am using some my Ma, 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 maui moisture <laughs> got a little tongue tie I, after i had the babies then i was a little leery about some other things so it's just been yeah but i i i i'm in a place now that i'm looking around like it's time for me to do something with my hair it's time for me to stop walking around looking like this so yeah that's what's going on but like i said i will explain in a um different video so i'm just putting a relaxer on my hair now so if you notice that i started my relaxer in the middle of my hair this actually is just what works for my hair um in the past i've done um i sectioned my hair off into four parts um and put the relaxer in my hair i've even tried the you know twist my hair up and just relax my new growth um no matter how i my try hair. with ors hair restore hair fertilizer with nettle leaf and horsetail extract so I'm just going to read a little bit what's on the jar and also a, a few ingredients, not all of them, but a few. Um, so on the jar it says it is rich moisturizing cream, hydrates weak and damaged hair, enriched with nutrient rich nettle leaf and horsetail to help nourish hair and scalp. And the ingredients, some of the ingredients are... Um, the first ingredient is water. That's really good. I see soil bean oil. Um, I see alcohol. That's not good, but that's in there. Petroleum. Um, Caster seed oil. See. Four pounds, 14 ounces. Um, but there was some complications. Um, and that sent that it, it I, I it took a toll on me um so baby boy was good he was fine um and he got to come back to the room with me baby girl did not come back to the room with me baby girl went straight over to the NICU um baby girl sugar was low um she couldn't keep her temperature um so yeah they took baby girl straight over to the NICU um, so baby boy was in the room with me, uh, but he didn't last through the night. They took his temperature and he also got taken over to the NICU. So that sent me through a lot. I went through uh, a little depression. Um, so the babies were in the NICU for about three weeks. Um, so yeah, I went through.
here we go on your scalp it smells great it promotes hair growth um in coconut oil is very good for moisturizing um so yeah those are two oils that i use in my um in my regimen all the time especially when i have braids um even when i don't have braids um i'm always putting these oils in my hair i actually uh, i i've gear more towards oils than anything um i just really like oils because they are they are natural um and peppermint oil smells excellent every time i put peppermint oil in my hair i get compliments everywhere i go um whether i'm at work just sitting at my desk or if i'm you know out and about and i walk past somebody and you know they oh what's that smell like it smells like peppermint and, and i have to tell them yeah it Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my fail hair journey. So today, um, I'm just showing you guys what I use in my hair while my hair is in, in a protective style to help um, promote growth and also thickness in my hair. Um, one of the oils that I use all the time is olive oil and actually i just got a comment um on one of my videos just recently about olive oil and it was like wow i really do use olive oil though so yeah olive oil i really really love olive oil um it's definitely a reason why olive oil olive oil is in a lot of different hair products you see the actual um whatever they advertising for the product on it but then you see all these other names and you're like, I can't even pronounce these names. But with natural oils, it's just one product. It's just one one thing. It's just the oil. So, um, yeah, I really love Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And it's very good for your hair. Um, so, that's all I'm doing. Just oil in my scalp. Um, now, I'm focusing on oils all this week. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm using my fingertips to oil my scalp. Jamaican black castor oil is very thick, so you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. I love do grow i love do grow oils i love do grow grease i have to try the shampoo and the conditioner but i love 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 do grow oil uh, do do grow oil and do the do grow products period so i would i would say get a hold of do either do grow or wow hair growth oil those two seem to be really good with a lot of good oils inside of them